Hello everyone. Welcome to session nine of security testing video series. In this session, I am going to explain about CIA Tried. So, what exactly is the CIA Tried and how it is related to security testing? Let me explain. So, what exactly is what is the CIA Tried? First question, right? What exactly is the CIA Tried? CIA Tried is nothing but it represents the basic high level objectives of any security program. CIA tried means the basic high level objectives of any security program. For example, if you are performing security testing, here security program means you are performing security testing on a particular application, given application. That is a security program. The basic high level objectives of any security program means any security testing means nothing but CIA tried guys. Okay, CIA tried represents the basic high level objectives or goals of any security program like security testing. So how this is represented in general CIA tried. If you Google search for this CIA tried guys, you'll be getting this kind of images. In the internet, if you Google search for the CIA tried, you'll get this kind of images representing the CIA tried. So where, as you can see, C stands for confidentiality. I stands for the next letter, I stands for integrity. Then A stands for availability. So I'll explain what is confidentiality, what is integrity, what is availability. These are all at a high level guys, these are all three things like confidentiality, integrity and availability are the basic high level objectives or goals of any security program that is like security testing, fine. So now let me explain what is confidentiality, what is integrity, what is availability. Let me explain that. So coming to the confidentiality, first objective of the CIA tried that is confidentiality. If you are performing security testing, your first objective is to protect the confidentiality of the application. So what hacker does guys? What is the basic mode of the hacker? Hacker will try to hack your application with an intention of breaching the data, okay? The data may be some sensitive data like SSN, social security number, or it may be other information, whatever it is, okay? Which is kind of very secured. It should be very private and secured. This kind of information should be kind of private and secured guys. Now, hacker motto is to steal this kind of information, right? And if you are, if you are a security tester, and if you are performing security testing on application, your duty is to protect this confidentiality to check whether the application is maintaining the confidentiality or not. So what is confidentiality then? Confidentiality is nothing but information, okay? Whether the information is private and secured is nothing but the confidentiality. As a secure tester, our main objective or goal should be to check whether the application is maintaining this confidentiality or not, whether the information that is stored in the given application for testing is private and secured, whether the hacker is able to breach this private and secured data. That's the intention. Okay, we need to find out and check whether how secured and private our data that is stored in the application is. That is confidentiality, guys. Hope you understood what is confidentiality. The second objective of the security, any security program, high level objective of security program as part of the CIA, right? Is second item is integrity. I stands for integrity. Integrity. So what is integrity? So the second objective of any security program or practice is to check whether the given application or system is maintaining the integrity. That is only authorized people, okay? Only authorized people are able to update the information. Updating means adding the information or deleting the information or modifying the information, whatever you call that is update, okay? Only authorized people should be able to update the information. So if unauthorized person is able to update, add or delete your information, then the application is not secured because it's not meeting one of the high level, basic high level objective of any security program that is integrity. The application should also follow the integrity case where only author, it should allow the 
only authorized people to update the information if a hacker is able to modify your information or update the information then the application the second goal will be gone guys okay will not be achieving the second goal the third one availability okay availability availability means what the availability is the third objective okay the third basic high level objective of any security program or practice our duty let's say if you are performing security testing our duty is to check whether the application is available for the intended users availability means whether the application is available for the intended users so why why availability guys let let me take uh, in security point of case don't uh, take availability don't think about availability in all parameters okay there are many factors why application will not be available but uh, come to the security point of view so what a hacker does is let's say there is some application guys okay there is some e-commerce application and uh, some black friday sale is going on so what hacker does during this black friday sir or whatever the time it is okay so a lot of sales are keeping on happening so let's say this application this application has some application server at the back right this application will be only be accessible only when this application server is up and running this application server every application has a application server in the back and uh, this server should be up and running then only we can access this application and uh, purchase something from this website let's say okay that is an e-commerce application and this is what is going on now what a hacker does is hacker will try to hacker will try to simulate false traffic to this application so on this uh, some important dates like uh, black friday sale and all right so hacker will try to send lot of extra burdened uh, kind of traffic okay you cannot imagine that much traffic uh, hacker will try to send to this application but let's say the application server can only handle up to let's say 1000 users okay simultaneously at the same single time a thousand people can access this application on that day let's say assume that now hacker what he will do is he will simulate and send some false traffic like uh, which so that the more than 1000 requests should go to the server the server can only accept 1000 requests at the same time now hacker will simulate sending simultaneous traffic to the application let's say hacker is some sending some 2000 requests to this application but the server is able to handle only 1000 what will happen guys the application will go down okay the application will go down so because of that what will happen so when the application hacker is simulating some false traffic and sending to the application and application server is only able to handle thousand where hacker sends two thousand or more than thousand so application goes down so what is the problem what will happen when the application goes down so the intended users the real users who want to really purchase some items from this okay some products from this e-commerce application will not be able to do so so it's a loss for the company right users are not satisfied here at same time the company who is running this e-commerce application will will have to bear the losses right they will lose the trust of the users and also they will uh, they will lose some sales also a lot of money will be lost so so the third main high level objective of any security program is to check whether the application is available okay all the time and uh, and it should not accept okay as part of the availability objective of this uh, security program the application should not accept the simulated false traffic from the hackers this this traffic should not be certain steps or measures should be taken in the application in such a way that the application should not be accepting the false traffic only intended users should be able to access the application okay so that thing is nothing but the third objective of the ca trade that is availability hope you understood guys what is confidentiality the hacker will try to breach breach or intrude into your machine with an intention of uh, gathering your private and sens sen uh, secure uh, sensitive information so as a part of the first objective we have to make sure our information is private and secure that's the first objective of any security program as part of ci right second high level objective in integrity only the authorized people should be able to update the information unauthorized people 
should be restricted so hacker will try to get into your system and uh, he'll try to update something even though it is not authorized so that is integrity availability is hacker will try to make your system down or application down and uh, make it unavailable for the intended users or intended end users so our third objective of any uh, of, as part of the security testing or something is to make sure that our application will only accept the legitimate intended user request and uh, reject the simulated false traffic that is being sent by the hacker so that is the third objective so hope guys you understood uh, what exactly c8 right c8 right looks like this and these are the three high level basic high level goals of any security program including security testing this will be the basic high level security goals guys that is to maintain the confidentiality of the application to maintain the integrity of the application to maintain the availability of the application okay this should be your basic high level goals in terms of security testing so hope guys you understood this session see you in the next session guys thank you bye